it's Amanda and I'm coming to you with another swatching video. Um, today we're going to be doing um, some more Ink Studio inks. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, uh, yeah, so I have a few. So what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to go through. Oh my goodness, Purpur, what are you doing? They're very excited. I just got home a little bit ago. They're very excited I'm home. So we're working our way through the Ink Studios. But um, we did... Um, the 23s and the 31s last time and yeah we did the tw we finished the 23s we did the 31s and um i had somebody request the 70s so we're gonna do the 70s today because honestly i'm really intrigued by all of these too um so i want to see those so we're gonna do those and then um also the 80s um, there's only two in that series in that particular set so we're gonna do these as well so i have i have five sailor ink studios to swatch and then i also have another sample that i had ordered in the same order that wasn't with the other not ink studio inks that i found while i was looking through the vials and so i'm going to do that one and then i have a couple of bottles of ink sitting here that i want to get swatched and put away so we're going to have about eight inks total to swatch today and um we'll go through them let me get them um in no particular order we have a sailor 770 sailor i think this is this is 680 i mean you can't really tell it's like a pretty brown color um this is the other one. This is uh, Kyo Iro uh, Cherry Blossom of, I'm not sure how you say that, Kiyage? Kiyagi? Um, or Kij? I don't, I don't know how to pronounce that. I meant to look it up and I didn't, which is a really pretty like pink color. This is another one that had, um, yeah, you can see it right here, that had ink on top of the saran wrap. I was very careful when I removed that, but I don't know if any got in, so I don't know if this is contaminated or not. Um, then we have um, Sailor 670 and also 370, which is like this murky green, and um, 683, which is another brown. So we're going to do those. And then for the bottles of ink, I have a couple um, Mont Blanc inks that I have here. Um, I have Mont Blanc... Um, uh, uh, the little prince. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna say the French because I will say it incorrectly. Rose Burgundy, which is a um, limited edition, um, special edition Mont Blanc ink. I love. I freaking love Mont Blanc inks. Um, and um, yeah. So we're gonna do that. And then also, I have a Grail ink for me, which I don't have many Grail inks. I mean, I feel like Lamy Dark Lilac is a Grail ink for some, but. Um, I could have had a bottle of this William Shakespeare. It's Mont Blanc William Shakespeare Velvet Red. I had it in my cart. I decided it was too expensive at the time and I took it out of my cart and then you couldn't find it anymore. And when I was on Drum Ghouls searching around, they um, had some. So I bought a bottle. Um, yeah, so it's kind of a grill ink. So I'm going to go ahead and swatch that as well. And um, yeah that's what we're gonna do so we have eight inks to swatch and um yeah let's get going and as always um at the end of the 70s series i already have um sailor 970 so we'll compare that with the rest of the series um at the end and these other inks the uh, mont blanc inks and the kyo iro if I can find it. I'm going to do these at the end, so if all you care about are the sailor inks, then you can watch those at the beginning, and um, if you don't care about seeing the other inks, then you can click out and not have to worry about it, so it's a little easier to split them up that way. So, yeah, so, all right, we've got kitties going to the litter box, and I have um, Tomoy River paper. Um, I labeled these after I finished the video because I was like, I'm just going to use this sheet of paper for all these um, inks. And um, I thought that would be best. Um, somebody suggested writing the name in the ink. If I remember to do that while I have the pen inked, I will do that. Um, we're also going to show it on the Cosmo Light paper. Now, I have contaminated the end of the, the bottom of the sheet of paper. So I don't think I'm going to do swatches down here. But I think for today, um, actually what I'm going to do is I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to um, go ahead and start a new page. And um, I'll use this, I'll use that other page for scribblies and stuff like that. And um, I'll come back and redo these swatches later. Um, yeah, so I think that's what 
I think that's what I'm going to do just to like save my sanity for this particular moment. Um, let me get this all situated. Cool. And I think I have just enough cards to do today's video. We have our dip pen. This is a Moon Man Mini Glass Dip Pen. I ordered mine off Amazon. You can find them on Amazon, Etsy, eBay, probably AliExpress. Um, I'm, I actually just placed my first order with AliExpress. I think it was my first order with AliExpress um, for some pens that you will see at a later date whenever they arrive sometime between now and the 32nd of January. So, so cool. And I am going to go ahead and zoom in a touch because I like to be close on the swatches. Um, even though I know that I go out of frame, I will try to be very conscious about what I'm doing. Is this card smudged? It is a little smudged. Okay, so we'll try a different one. So yeah, so how's everybody doing? Now I'm gonna go in number order. I just need to find the ones. Okay, so we're gonna start with number 370, and my labels are not sticking. So if you've gotten samples from me with not sticky labels, I apologize. Um, I will try to find tape and tape them for any future ones. So the 70s series seems to be like green and yellows and like greeny yellows. And this is from Yaseka. Stationery. This is Sailor. Ink Studio. Number 370. Ooh, that's very pretty. This is very interesting. I know that I wasn't going to do comparisons in these videos aside from comparing the inks to each other, but this reminds me of um, some of those murky greens and I might have to go, I don't know. I make no promises, but I might have to go get some of those and take a look at them. That reminds me of Ferris Wheel Press Moss Park Green. All right, next up we have, I think 670 is the next one, yep. This is so fun. So I want to, so what I'm gonna do, just so you know like kind of what's coming up is I have I ordered from Van Diemen's um, inks all like I was only missing either between samples and bottles I was missing like two or three of their entire catalog <laughs> and you haven't seen them all swatched on this channel I just got them and then I got these in and started doing this Ooh, I did this wrong this is number six Seven zero. Um, so I'm gonna do once those come in, they're in transit. So once I get those in, we're gonna do another epic Van Diemen swatch video too. Um, because I think that will be fun. And then I'll show the whole line of their inks just because I happen to have it. And yeah, I think that will be fun and that will be interesting. Um, the ones I ordered, they're coming directly from Australia because Van Ness and Pen Chalet, who sell their inks, um, seem to be out of stock. Like, I don't, it's probably not permanently, but I haven't been able to get, um, I think Hanging Lake is the one that I was, that seems to always be out of stock. Hanging Lake and one of the orange ones. Those are the only ones I don't think I had. Um, anything of. This is bonkers. Um, so I, I had ordered, so I ordered that and I ordered a backup of my black tongue spider orchid because I figured since I was there I might as well make sure that I don't run out of that one. And then I also got a bottle of Elizabeth's Violet Eyes which I have used pre, I had used previously in a video for um, Pen Friend Appreciation Month. It was a sample that was sent to me by Pen Friend Melissa, and it was really dry in the pen that I tried it in, and so I re-inked it into a different pen. I got a backup sample, so I had enough to play with, and um, I tried it in a different pen, and I 
I think I have it in a broad Twisby or a medium Twisby, and I freaking love it. So, I need another purple ink, like a hole in the head, but I figured I liked it enough that I would just, since I was placing an order, just get a bottle of it. And then I won't have to worry about it anymore, so. So, yeah. <clears throat> okay, next up we have Sailor 770, I believe. Yes. Patches, that was a stinky, stinky mess you just did right there. Sailor 770. This is a yellow one, and this is honestly the one that I'm most intrigued by because I I have... Yellow is not my favorite color, but I am on the hunt for the perfect... Ooh, the perfect yellow. My favorite yellow ever is Mont Blanc Golden Yellow, and um, up until about 20 minutes ago, I didn't think that you could get it anymore, and I saw it at Drum Ghouls, which is where I bought these ones. So I may... Um, I don't know. I may get a bottle of that. That's so pretty. It seems it's legible, which is what I like about golden yellow. It's not like in your face, like super, super bright, bright sunshine yellow, like a uh, fresh squeeze sunshine from Ferris Hill Press. That one, that yellow is like bananas. Um, literally like banana. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Um, <clears throat> oh, I was going to do this. Um, yeah, so, um, seven, seven, zero. It's pretty legible, which I like. It seems like it has a little bit of orange in it, maybe. It makes it a little golden. Um, I don't know what's better price-wise. I'll have to, I'd have to price it out. Um, obviously the Ink Studios are... I forget how much are the ink studios, like 18 for 20 mil? I can't remember what the Mont Blanc is. I think it's 30 mil? I can't remember if it's 30 mil. I think it's 30 mil because it's the smaller bottle. This is the 50 mil bottle. So I think it's... What, buddy? Um, and I can't remember how much it is, but this is a good one. I also like Buttered Popcorn by Ferris Hill Press. I like that one because it has lots of shading and it's interesting. Ooh, that's pretty to move this cord back. It's in my way. That is a very nice golden yellow. That's very pretty. It looks brighter on camera, I think, than it actually is in person. This is really a really pretty yellow. And you know it's got to be pretty if I'm saying yellow is pretty. Okay. Because yellow is my probably my least favorite color um okay next up we're going to do, we're done with the 70s now um the other 70 ink that i have i've already swatched and i put the swatch somewhere to keep it safe yeah okay yeah so we can compare it um now we're going to move on to um the 80s which we only have two so we have sailor 680 Which is a brownish color, it looks like. Definitely a brownish color, that's what it looks like on the nib. Oh no! Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Okay, we're fine. We're fine. We're fine. My uh, glass dip pen just fell off the table, but it fell 
in such a way onto carpeting, it's fine. <laughs> it's fine. Everything's fine. Ooh. This is one of those browns that's just like a, it's a, like a, it's a brown. Reminds me a little bit of, it's not as dark as Yamaguri, but that's like the vibe it gives me. Very pretty. This is a fun like set of colors I've got going on here. Very fall. That's really pretty. Okay, and last but not least for our Sailor Ink Studio inks, we have uh, Sailor 683, which is another sort of brown shade. dipped way too far. That's okay. Oh, I didn't even write the... Okay. Dork. This is more of a, like, blacky brown. Black, purpley brown, sort of. Okay, and that is the last of our Sailor Ink Studios. So if you do not care about seeing any other inks today, you are um, free to go. Well, you're free to go anytime. Nobody has to be here. <laughs> but you know what I mean? I, you have seen what you came to see because we are done with the Sailor Ink Studios for this particular episode. Um, I think a lot of the series that we have coming up next are larger series, so... Um, we'll be able to do more inks in, in a video. Um, so they'll be a little bit longer than what we've got going on here. Um, Cause these are kind of a little short. Um, purposely the last couple videos have been a little shorter just because I need them to be. So um, yeah, okay. So next up we're going to do, I'm gonna finish the sample vials and we have a Kyoiro Cherry Blossom. So. And like I said, I don't know if this is contaminated or not. It may be. Um, I don't have any experience with this ink, but even just in the writing, like, I don't know if this is what it's supposed to look like. If you've used this ink before um, and it looks different than you know it to be, let me know. I like the color that it is, but it seems like it's more purple or more purple than I remember it seeing. I remember seeing. I'm just going to write... Kyoiro Cherry Blossom. Okay. This is a very pretty color, whether it's the real color or not. That is a really nice color. I feel like it's darker than I remember it being, but it could just also be because it's wet. Oh, 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 okay. And on the 
the Tomoe River paper, I'm also going to separate it out just so. Just so we're not, just so I have as much room to work with the Ink Studios as possible. Very pretty. Okay, and next up we will tackle our bottles of ink. So, I'm going to go with um, William Shakespeare Velvet Red. Look how pretty this bottle is. I don't know, I just love it. Look at that red. Look at that red. It's supposed to be the red of like velvet curtains, which is why it's called Velvet Red. Um, And I got this from Drum Ghouls. Oh my gosh, that's so good. That's so good. That's so good. It seems like it's warmer than like Color Burst Dirty Red, which is my favorite red right now. It's perfect. It's like the perfect color of velvet curtains. I love it. I did check before I got on this video in case anybody else is interested in this ink. Drum Cools did have it still. Um, as far as I know, that's the only place that I've seen it, um, uh, recently. Um, it's, it's pretty spendy. It's 35 mils for $49. Um, but I already, I let it go once. I wasn't about to let it go again. So I, it was worth it to me. So <sighs> yes, it's so pretty. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I think there's another red that Mont Blanc has. It's like Winter Dawn or something like that. And if I could ever find that, I'd be so happy. Somebody I follow on Instagram has that and they use it occasionally. And I'm like, man, that is so pretty. So I'm going to go ahead and do this. We have one more. It's Mont, Mont Blanc and it's our Petit Prince Rose Burgundy. I actually also have the other um, Mont Blanc ink. Uh, there's three, I think, in this line, and I have the first one. Oh, that's so pretty. I have the first one, and I feel like it's a pretty similar color to this. I think the first one's a little more brown, and if I were a better YouTuber, I would have grabbed it so we could compare it, but I didn't, so I'm not going to. Um, this I got from Drumgles as well. Um, it's rose burgundy. Oh, it's so pretty. You can't, it just looks, it kind of looks like off black right now because it's so dark, but man, it's pretty. Oops, I don't need to dump that in there. Kitty cats, so much happening right now. What are you doing, my babies? Are the birdies out there, kitty cats? Are the birdies out there, Mr. P? Are they? No, you can't. Oh, Car Pearl, are, you, are the birdies out there? Are you going to get the birdies? They're both sitting in cat trees behind me. Meow. 
Oh, that's luscious. That's luscious. It kind of looks like dried rose petals to me. Awesome. Ooh. <laughs> this is this is my version of Mary's drip. <laughs> if you haven't seen uh, Mary Hodges, you should definitely go check her channel out. She does watching Sundays, which is so awesome. Um, she just watches a bunch of ink on Sundays, and it's awesome. I look forward to those videos every Sunday. Or I I can't remember. Sometimes they come out on Mondays, but knowing the way YouTube works, it's probably just YouTube being YouTube. So um, awesome. So yeah, so check out Mary. There was another person that I was going to shout out that I just watched one of their videos and now I can't remember what it is. So I will do it again in another video, but um, I'll find out who it is. <clears throat> okay, and I'm actually going to pull out a white piece of paper. It's going to be lined because... That's what I've got right available to me, but I think that this will help. Um, will help show off some of these inks because they're a little darker. Um, okay, oops. Okay, so we started with our so we started with our ink studios. So we have three seventy. I'm like off to the side. Sorry about that. Three seventy, and then we did uh, six seventy which is a little more yellow. And then we did 770, which is even more yellow. And then we go to 970, which is um, right here. So these are our 70 lines, very um, like florally sort, not florally, but um, like, I don't know, it makes me think of like grass and sunshine and springtime. And yeah, those are, those are pretty, so I like that. So um, we'll push those up here. And then we went to our other sailors. We went to visit our brown families. So we have, okay. I think, okay. This is Sailor 680, and I don't know if you can see that, but we have some green sheen. So 680 is a brown ink with sheen. And if you have been here any certain amount of time, you know that Sailor, Texas, Sailor 50 States, Texas is a favorite amongst my channel. <laughs> and lots of people, pen friend Thomas, um, lots of people want to know a comparison to Sailor Texas. I think this is too different of a brown, but it does have that sheen. So that's an option if you like that. Um, I have a feeling we'll discover ones that are closer in different um, iterations, but then we have Sailor 683, and you can see that this one is like a little, a touch more, like more brown, and this is a little more purple. I'm hoping that you can see that. Um, we'll bring it up a little closer, but yeah. So that's, that's what these look like. And then we will um, show off our non-Sailor inks. We have Kyoiro Cherry Blossom. I still think this is darker than I think it's supposed to be, but um, if you have used this ink, please chime in in the comments below. I feel like I remember it being a little, um, a little more muted than it is here, and maybe it's just the amount of ink that I put in, but I'm really concerned because there was that little bit of ink, and I was very careful not to include it, but I don't know what seeped through before I got to it, so who knows. And then we also have, where did it go? It was right here in my face. Where did it go? Where is my velvet? Oh, here it is. Um, then we have Mont Blanc Shakespeare Velvet Red. And then we have our Rose Burgundy, which is still drying. I feel like it goes kind of good with these browns right here. Maybe not, maybe it's definitely more burgundy, but um, yeah, that's, that's our color palette today. Okay, so we kind of have like 
we have some flower i would say we have some flowers here we have some dirt it's very earthy to me these are earthy colors to me i mean even these reds and pinks like okay maybe these are not necessarily earthy but you could say like roses or flowers you have like the middle of the flower or even yellow flowers and you have like the stems and the grass and the dirt i don't know i'm making a color story happen that maybe isn't there but um yeah i'm a i'm a fan of what's going on here so Oh yeah, so here are inks for today. I hope that you um, enjoyed them. Um, before we go, I do want to show you the other papers. So let me go ahead and do that. Move these over here. I will compare that 83. Once we get all the browns done, um, I will go ahead and compare um, to Texas. I don't have the bottles. I mean, sorry, I don't have the, um, I don't have my cards right here. So I'm not able to do that right now. I did not plan ahead. So anyway, so he here we are. Their Tomoy River paper. I'll zoom back in a little bit. We have our Tomoy River paper, and then we have our Cosmo Air Light paper. You could see um, the swatches are actually pretty similar. Um, 670 is still drying. Apparently, it's very generous with the ink on that page. Um, and you can see the sheen on 680. Oops. Um, it looks like there's a little more purple in there. But yeah, definitely some sheen. Even the 770 kind of has a little bit. I don't know if that's intentional or if it's just because, just just the way it dried on the paper. But yeah. And then we have our cherry blossom and our velvet red curtains and then our burgundy rose. I don't know that I like how these, I like this, how this one looks. I don't know how I like the rest of these on this paper. And these don't really bother, I don't necessarily like those. I like that yellow and I like, I like these ones I think on this paper, but yeah. So yeah, writing on this paper is like super interesting. It it feels like writing on a cushion. Um, yeah, so those are our comparisons. So I hope that you enjoyed this video and got something out of it. Um, I've had lots of positive feedback on these um, videos, so please um, keep it coming if you have comments or suggestions. Um, like I said, I do plan on doing one big, like, giant comparison of all the Sailor Ink Studios. I'm going to have my ink journal going so we can, um, so we can uh, take a look at what's here. Um, kind of look at them all together. I think I've decided to go numerical order, but if you have a different suggestion, please leave it in the comments. I don't make any promises, but I will take it under advisement. Um, and yeah, so thanks so much for watching. I will talk to you soon. Take care. Bye. -bye.